Hello, abduction recovery fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Jumping straight on in, the next thing that we're going to grab today in our USB Forensic series is we're going to go after the drive letter of the device. Now, the drive letter is back in the system hive. If you'll recall, we're in the software hive. We're going to go back to our system hive now. So we need to go to System Mounted Devices. In the mounted devices listings, you're going to see quite a, a, a large number of various things with goods and, and question marks and a number of different things. And then we see drive letters. Now, in Registry Explorer, you're going to see values and you're going to see mounted devices. In this case, we want to click on the values tab. And once we do that, let's click on, uh, let's scroll down till we start seeing drive letters. That's what we're interested in. And when we click on a drive letter, we can see down in the right hand area down here, well, garbage in this case. But what we're looking for is we're looking for information that contains the serial number of our device. And we scroll through all of the drive letters we find looking for our serial number. So here's some information we can understand, but we still don't see a serial number or our serial number. So keep on going. Uh, we've got another one. Our serial number is not there. We've got another one. Ah, look at this. There's our, our serial number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B61A. We have found our serial number. Now that we know, now that we have our serial number, the only way it could be here is because when it was inserted, our device was given drive letter G. So now you can record that. The next very important thing we need is something called a volume GUID. These things, these weird long things are volume GUID. So once again, we're going to have to go through each of these one at a time looking for our serial number in this information. Now, I kind of have an idea where mine is so I don't have to go through long, long lists. And sure enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, B sixty one A. There's my volume GUID one C C C zero B four A, etc. etc. We're going to record that. We're going to write that whole thing down. And now we have our volume GUID. So once again, let's have a quick peek at what we now know. We now have our drive the last drive letter that was assigned to the device when it was plugged in, and we have the volume GUID. Don't feel bad if you don't find a drive letter. Remember, most, most USB devices get plugged in one at a time. So if you plug in a drive letter and you get, uh, you know, it's given drive letter E. If you unplug it and put in the next device, the next device is going to have drive letter E. Both devices are going to be in the registry, but the most recent one will show the drive letter. Yours won't. So if you are scrolling through the GUIDs and you find your serial number, but you don't find your serial number anywhere that a drive letter appeared, that means another USB device has been plugged in since then and was given that drive letter. So just, just a little uh, something you've got to keep track of. Um, but for now... I want you to remember, forensicate like your life depends on it, because somebody's just might. See you next time.